Now I can hear the music. Very exciting. How am I doing? Gosh, you know, I don't know. We had uh, an incident uh, on the, uh, the Twilight Princess stream, which by the way, we're about to be Twilight Princess, and I'm going to be playing the rest of Final Fantasy VI after that, I think. Um, do I need to turn myself up? I probably do a little bit. Let's do this. Hi. Um, yeah, that's probably a bit better. Um, but yeah, I had a breakdown on stream, uh, that I wasn't expecting, because, like, it's one thing to be like, oh, I'm going through, like, personal trauma of the last few years of my life being completely nutso. Um, and then it's like, oh, I've started crying. Well, that's okay, because I was crying. Because, but no, I was just like, somebody was like, hey, there's something going on with an echo in the thing. They spent like five minutes trying to solve it, then got really upset, and then burst into tears and was like, oh, wait, actually, it turns out I'm not okay. Um, despite having thought about myself as doing well, not like, I mean, I was aware that I was dissociating, <laughs> um, but oops. Being aware of it doesn't make it any less jarring when it changes. No, no, it's okay, Dread Killer. It wasn't you. It was just a little comment, and I proceeded to spend the next five minutes slowly unraveling. The problem there was not you. The problem was, well, the state of the world, to be honest. Okay, well, far be it from me to get between somebody and apologizing, because uh, that is a thing I do a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, as Dreadkiller has just volunteered, they, they were the one who asked a, a, an innocuous question, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, and it was, it was kind of nice that somebody unlurked specifically to give me reassurance that they were happy that those things were being talked about and that meant a lot yeah it was very nice of them and I appreciated it um but yeah so so I have no idea whether I'm going to get through this chapter of Celeste in one fully functional whole Lauren or or not so we'll see it's a mystery Hopefully we shouldn't have any more uh, trolling like last time, which was, well, not good. But we made it through. Thank you to everybody who stuck through that. Um, thank you to my mod team for desperately trying to solve that. Um, and honestly, it hasn't shaped or colored my impression of this, this game, so... Um, no, it is interesting though to me, like, people have, um, have tried to guess how much or when or where or how I'm going to need to use assist mode, which I haven't had to use yet. Um, but I don't know. We're, we'll just, we're going to play it by ear, friends. We're going to play it by ear. Maybe I don't need the chat there. I've already got the chat. Yeah, I did. I did. I did have fun. So stage one and stage two were, well, I guess chapter one, chapter two, I don't know. I liked them. Um, chapter two in particular was really interesting. Um, uh, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of like soul searching here on this mountain. Seems like that's what our purpose is up here because um, we wound up facing a dark version of our main character. Oh, we had a whole little chat on YouTube comments about pronouncing the name Madeline or Madeline. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to call her. I probably won't be aware of it half the time I say it. Um, apparently, I guess America is the only country that talks about Madeline. Literally everywhere else apparently is Madeline. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it was really interesting to encounter Battleline, or I guess Battlein. Um, and it was interesting because the whole thing was basically us trying to outrun in the voice in her head telling her she can't do it. Which is good because 
I think that's what it's supposed to be. And that's certainly the impression you get as you play the game. Um, and then we met Theo, who is a, a friend <laughs> in Platt, who, who is doing photography and taking selfies. And Madeline had some um, misgivings about having her selfie, having her photo taken, but in the end was okay with it. Which is interesting. Oh, look at that! 412 deaths already! Yeah! Ooh! I've collected a cassette tape. Alright. And so the little wings on the ticket, I think that means it's got assist mode on. Yes! Oh, man. So there's the first house city the castle I guess it was a castle I guess we went through a castle with the the lake space move through matter which I wonder if we're gonna do that again since that was dream world um not yet Gundy but no apparently Madeline isn't a pronunciation anyone else uses so it's either Madeline or Madel Madeline Something I can find out on the screen. Um, oh wait, hold on, I have a left trigger button. <gasps> I have a notebook. That's my name. This is my notebook with my name on it. Progress. Yes, speed runs. Fewest deaths. Crystal hearts, I don't even know what that is. Global steam stats. I don't know what that means either. Well, oh, I really love if you look at the little dot at the bottom of the screen, the way it does like the stretch thing between the two because you're dashing. See, it's like dashing. It's the animation for dashing where it like stretches you out. So it dashes through the things. Yeah, it's very cool. All right, so we're going to dive in. Celestial Resort. So one of my friends was telling me this is her favorite chapter. So all I know about this is that one of my friends says that this is one of her favorite chapters, if not her favorite chapter. So do report in. By the way, um, I noticed there was kind of a weird desync between my audio and video. So I have delayed all of the audio. Um, if it seems like it's not working, report back. This is a sentiment that we should all have. You can't, like, I so used to collect my um, rejection letters for stories that I submitted because, um, like, people would be like, why do you, because I had, like, the first rejection letter I ever got pinned to my bulletin board all through middle and high school. And people were like, why do you have that up on display? I was like, are you kidding? This is... The first step that I took in trying to get published. This is the first step in in trying. Sure, I didn't get published, but it means that I'm doing it. And I feel like little Lauren had a really good philosophy there that big Lauren has tried really hard to cling to. Um, and honestly, when it comes to games, that's been one of the big breakthroughs that I've had is like you kind of have to be okay with the risk of dying um, in games. Don't be okay with the risk of dying in real life. You can help it, please. I'm going to mom you. All right, PSA over. Um, no, but uh, like one of the reasons why I had a really hard time with the King's Quest games as a child, aside from being a child and Sierra Tech's adventures not being that easy, um, was that I was super afraid of the character dying because the character was too real for me that the idea of making these characters I loved suffer was just like unthinkable. I couldn't handle it, um, which is not good. You need to be able to let go of that. But I'm such a perfectionist that it is so hard for me to let go of trying to get everything right. So it's actually really good for me to be internalizing this message of oh I'm, I'm messing up that's fine it means you're doing it it's like did you bake a cake and it was a mess that's okay you baked a cake for the first time that's exciting uh they weren't so much gruesome back in the the atari st days which is when i got started uh 
All right, there's two buttons. Two buttons. Yes! Look at that. Did you see that? That sound. The sound effect of walking on the tile makes me think of sounds from Starbound. Has anyone even played much Starbound? I've played a lot of Starbound. The birdies are mostly pink here. I wonder what the deal is with the birds. Bye, birds. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, guys? Those things are alive. They've got eyes that are blinking. I think those are eyes? Maybe those aren't eyes. I don't know what it is. I don't really want to know what it is. I don't think. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe I should, maybe I should, let's, let's, what's the worst thing that can happen? We die? Okay, now we know. I have not played Carol Blaster. Can I jump onto this? Okay, I can jump onto this. Okay. Hi, friends. You guys just, like, chilling there? Are you, like, void demons? The one up there has, like, a bunch of, like, tentacly... So, like, the little, like, circled things on the top one. I don't know. Anyway, it's unsettling. Oh, no. Little void demon friend over there. Hold on. Uh, it's too too far. No. <laughs> Thanks, Blues. Oh man, cave story is really good. Okay. Oh no. Right. Well, that worked well. I think. I think that worked really well. Oh, why is that a keyhole? Hmm. Oops. It's gonna take a bit. Sorry, folks. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Neep. Oh no, that didn't that didn't work, did it? Okay. Hold on. I'm remembering the buttons. Remember the button. Remember the button, Lauren. I don't remember the button. <sighs> okay. See some spikies. No! No! I got it. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Aha, there's something over here. Why is this green? Oh, no reason. Well, it's okay. This is nice, actually, because if you go to the screen, then if you die here, you'll start over. Um, well... I got nothing.
No. Don't forget, Lauren. You can cling to walls. Isn't there an ogre battle game called Let Us Cling Together? I can't cling to... No. I get tall enough for that. <laughs> oh my god, Gandhi, but that's a really ridiculous and amusing name. All right. It's not a run button. So you don't get momentum that way. Yes! 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 Oh my god, hold on. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm yelling. <laughs> oh my god, okay, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh my god, can I do it? shoot the door and then you run through this hallway all the way down this hallway and then through um into and then you do the the shine spark up to get to a missile pack in meridia is that meridia it's a, it's a it's just a long hallway and then there's this this room where you like jump and there's like the little zoomer guys but you have to like line it up just right and you're like there's no way I can get enough room here to do a shine spark I'm so glad 95 fathoms knows exactly what I'm talking about I have actually played through that game twice hey so my one gaming claim to fame was that the very first time I beat Super Metroid which was probably uh, 10 years ago? No, not 10 years ago. Not even. Um, 2012. Um, maybe? I think 2012 or 2013 sounds about right. No. No, did I? The problem is a couple of different eras of my life are blurring together. Anyway, I got an 87% completion the first time I played it. Including finding a missile pack that my ex-husband had never found and he knew that game inside and out and I was just like Because as probably comes as no surprise to all of you Because <laughs> you've seen me play games before I would go into every single room and I would um, I would just basically bomb everything until I got the visor thingy and then I would like scan 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 turn scan 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 turn scan 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 um uh, yeah, so, oh, how cute she sneezes. So yeah, this is, oh my God, it's totally, that's totally it. Cause I was like, is there a way to get more momentum? And I was like, no, there isn't. And I was like, wait. But then I saw that her hair changed colors because I've already had to learn to identify the hair changing colors being a sing signal of something. Um, because that's a thing in um in um in um in um the this the little safe discs. Oh, that's a golden key. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Not quite, not quite, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna doing that everywhere. No, not quite. 
Oh, wait, no, but, or I could just, like, probably do what I'm probably supposed to do here. No? Oh, no, I'm actually supposed to. Wait, there's, like, there's somebody in here. Maybe I could play the game like I'm supposed to instead of trying to do little cheesy thingies. Actually, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Not like that. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I did a thing. Because I honestly did not know that that was a thing. Like, ah! no. I've had people accuse me of not playing games blind <laughs> because of things that I figured out, mostly just the story stuff in Final Fantasy X, and I was like, no, no, that is a thing I know is stories. Um. Oh my god, that has the birdies! Look at all those birdies. I don't know if this is a secret place, but I'm doing it. Oh, good. Wow, that sounded dramatic. What is this? Oh no, there's things. Oh, hey, what? This is a mirror stuff and. Oh. Wait, 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 no! But wait, no! Wait, no! Hold, hold up, no, wait! No! Oh no. Oh, hold on, let me, let me, I have to put myself away on Slack. I always forget to do that because I'm working with a team that is in a Pacific time zone. And so they're still working because it's only 4.30 there, but it's 7.30 here. Anyway, I don't like this. Is this a hotel? Okay, yeah, because that's a luggage cart. This looks like keys. Oh, an old-fashioned hotel. Hmm. Hmm. Literally. <laughs> I don't know that I would say that this is a glowing comet. We'll never forget our time here. Doesn't necessarily mean it was a good time. Ah. Okay, that is positive. Like ring bell for service. Something resort. Um. He just warped in skeleton first, guys. And this music tells me that He's definitely a ghost. Well, I'm glad she just calls it right out there. Uh, I have worked in customer service. I never teleported anywhere skeleton first. When I was in customer service, I'll have you know. <laughs> Somebody didn't let me know that that's how we were supposed to do things. <sighs> Not a ghost, a concierge. I mean, I've known hotel concierges. <laughs> a number of people that I've known and run close to have, have worked in hotels over the years. <laughs> Probably Dread Killer. <laughs> Celestial Resort. Ah. Celeste is the mountain. It's Celestial. Oh. Are we going up to heaven with a name like that? Mr. Oshiro. Oh no, she's here. Wait, maybe it's not her. You know, maybe it's 
Theo. Maybe it's a friend. It's gonna be good. We're gonna like hang out in the hotel pool together and maybe watch a movie um, and have room service and talk until like three in the morning and make friends. So before my social anxiety uh, hit, when I was every bit as, um, every bit as social and talkative as I am and outgoing and so on, but without the anxiety, I would talk to everybody and make friends with everybody. You could not take me to a hotel, for example, without me befriending every other child in the hotel. I was like, you are my best friend now, and I will tell you, I will tell everybody all about everything. I could be like, mom, this is my friend so-and-so. I met her. She's from so-and-so, and she's here with her siblings who are named this, and they're doing this, and she's originally from this place, and her family moved here, and blah, 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 blah. My mom would be like, oh my god. So my mom's the same way. Anyway, social anxiety has made that harder for me, but I kind of wanted to get it back. So I associate hotels with making friends. <laughs> uh, she's all like adorable and earnest. Oh no! I don't think he's gonna like that. Oh no! His sweatshop is green. That's a little unsettling. That, that, that makes me think it's ectoplasm. <laughs> So his music is creepy. Oh, now look at that creepy ex ectoplasm sweat drop. Uh-oh, you're gonna have to work here. <laughs> oh no, Shiro. Don't give them your real name. Okay. It is clear that someone here has never worked with the supernatural before. <sighs> oh no. That is, I think, actually how that show works, Hitsuki. I'm pretty sure there were some episodes about that. I'm really curious about the pages missing. I want the pages! Hmm. This is just like a pile of laundry just like sitting in the middle of the entrance floor. Also, I want to know whose luggage is that, you know? Oh, that's right. They like... I don't know. Oh, no! It totally is ghostly ectoplasm. Well, I guess I did have a hint that it's haunted. Are those voices laughing? Well, the laundry is definitely moving. That's weird. Good timing, Lauren. Well done. Okay, I don't actually know whether the people who made this game are fans of the Mother series. But I'm kind of getting that vibe here. You know what I'm talking about, right? Surely you do. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna... We're gonna get that strawberry. I think I can do it. I think I can get that strawberry. 
Okay, actually, I don't think- I think that the timing is wrong. Trying to dash. I think the timing is not gonna work. I mean, that's not gonna work either. Why is there just, like... Why... Why is there hellish ectoplasm just hanging out in your hotel? That helped. Okay, hold on. I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh my god, they kind of are circling meatballs, aren't they? Oh god, the timing on them is really annoying. Makes me think of the original Mario-y stuff. Okay. But if I jump and cling to it, yeah. Why is this? This is like just like a, it's just like a chair here. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna try to wrap my head around the timing of these guys. Okay, so I'm trying to use my brain here. Okay. You, you raise a point, Nick. I don't know if, if I agree with that point. But it is a point. Oh, it looks like we'll be able to go through that window. That thing over there doesn't look like it has any panes in it. But maybe it does. Okay. So if I, like, jump right after the thing goes, then that thing's already spinning around towards me by the time I try to jump up. No! Oh, but that could have been it, though. Okay. I got it. See, my first instinct, which is what I did the first time, was... Because with this sort of thing, you know, you always want to, like, wait until right after it goes. But that wasn't right. Eek! No! Shh. Off to a great start here. No, it's okay. I don't mind. Eek! 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 Okay. Nah. Okay. I think the problem, okay. That's the jump button. The other one is the dash button. Okay, I got it, I got it. No, that was not right. Are these like the like, souls of people who are at the mountain? Madeline, why did you come to the mountain, friend? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. <sighs> yeah, she seems like she's come here without really knowing what she's doing, but I bet that if she had to stop to actually pr plan properly, she would second guess herself and not do it. So she's here. That's too far. All right, I'm 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 testing some theories actually as far as timing goes. All right, let's see. All right. Just thinking about it, like in. I think if I. Right, this is the jump button. Okay. Not quite, and I waited too long. I got nervous. I think that was still too early, though. I'm not sure. Eek! Eek! Oh no! <laughs> it's too key. I got distracted by them. I like it, though. Oh, do you see my baby cat? Yeah, I used to have an emote that was Lauren. I don't know if it still exists. It's the yellow. No. Okay. Huh. This is the jump button. No, 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 no. 
that didn't work. Okay, hold on. I feel like the wind has gotten louder. I don't remember, Nick. I really should have that. So we had that and the womp one. Oh, it's closer to the one over here, actually. Let's try that. See, there's a there's a greater distance between it and the platform on the right than it and the platform on the left. So that and that actually might make the timing easier. Okay. Not quite. Like, I know I'm supposed to be investigating your hotel, but there's a strawberry. Eek! I didn't think that was gonna work, but it did, okay. Okay, a chair. All right, this is the jump button. As soon as I can. I'm happy. Alright. There's like a creepy... Should have known that was gonna happen. <laughs> So that thing's gonna... <sighs> okay. That window's just plain open, I think. Oh, that other window there's kind of got a giant hole in it. This place is not very well maintained. I don't think that I feel very rested here. Oh, haha, <laughs> you totally can't do that. All right. We're gonna find out. Yep, okay. Well, that answers that. Oh, I want the middle thing, don't I? Oh my god, okay. Okay, and then you wanna jump onto the left side. No? I'm gonna figure it out. No! Wait. Do the sound effects make you go better? Oh! Th this chair has a hole in it. Okay, so the keys are apparently not optional. Okay, so is it just me or so long as like a person in a cowboy hat on the left and then uh, a boat and then another cowboy hat? Hey! <gasps> don't tell me that horror story again, but I don't want horror stories in my head. Once they're in my head, they'll never leave. What? 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 What even? What? 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 <gasps> Okay. 
No, too high. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, probably. Hold on. Oh, so close, so close, so close, so close, so close. Okay. But I can't do this, can I? How do I get there? No, how do I get there? No, I want to get there. You can't. But I don't even know why I want to get. Oh wait. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it! No! Not like that. No, no! I'm gonna smash that wall with my face! Just you wait and see. Not there. Oh no, no, you have to. You have to. Dash. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. That. Uh, <laughs> this whole everything about this is completely absurd. Oh my god. Are you serious? Hold on. Okay. Gotta minimize your holding time here. Like that, see? No! So we're gonna have to do this again, but that's all right. We can do it. Oops. I mean, not like that, but like, 
that. Nope, not like that. Okay, hold on. Now we can do this. We've done this already. We're gonna do it again. No, okay, now we're gonna go this way. These are just piles of laundry, not like people, right? Oh. ever see me try to do um, Sonic? Who here was here to watch me play Sonic 2? Where I literally can't get past the uh, toxic chemical plant zone. This music sounds really, this music sounds like the game that this music is from would give me nightmares. I can get in there. I can't figure it out. Mm. No. Okay. Well, that happened. Okay, then. Oh! Well, I guess that's one way of getting out of here. Whee! Bye! Okay, well, that was like an entire section of the game. Is that all of it? Did I do it all? No, I have to get the key. Look, there's a piano. Play the piano! Madeline, play the piano! Jump rope! I really liked jump rope as a kid. No! No! Please don't die. This is the jump button. Well, okay. Is it just me or did like drums just kick in? Precision platforming. I cannot do precision platforming. That is what I cannot do. So anything that um, anything that uh, that requires you to be precise and get it exactly right, no. But if there's some wiggle room, <laughs> apparently I can do okay. <laughs> Man, I like that. What is that, a hi-hat? And then somebody's got some clapping happening. Man, it'd be fun to do some Celeste music with my band. It's super not me, but it's nice and groovy. Oh no! Guys, there's, there's creepy wiggly worms. Let's see what happens. Oh. to check. Look, I played Super Metroid. Sometimes you can go through the things on the floor. What's up there? Why is, why does, why does Cowboy's portrait have, no? that it makes as they grow is really creepy. I want to get to the one that's got the creepy spider webs.
No, you have to, you have to do the creepy wiggly walls. Okay, creepy wiggly walls. Here it goes. Creepy wiggly walls. No, that's not what I want though. No, I nope. I want to go up that. I want to go up there. You can't make me go the way that you want me to go. I mean, you can eventually. But what if I I bet they feel really gross. Just listen to the sound they make. They, oh, I didn't move fast enough. Heep. I didn't do that creepy wiggly wall though, because no. No, I did it wrong. Okay, hold on. No, 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 you gotta jump. You can't just fall. If you fall, the momentum thingy is, there's, there's a thing that has to do with momentum. Nope! Nope, nope! Uh, so actually these creepy wiggly walls make me think of, and like the, the, the creepy, creepy wiggly, uh... No! I wanna, no. No. I'm not good. no, you can't make me, uh-uh! They wouldn't be fuzzy. So I had this nightmare when I was a kid that was so, like a really young kid that was so scary. I had a fever when I woke up because my heart was going so fast and I was so freaked out. And it had some things in common with this. So, no! How am I gonna do that though? It's like I can do all of that without needing a double jump. And then I do here and I double, double jump. And here I, d no! How am I gonna do that? Cause I need my double jump there. Is there a way to do that? Oh my God, I think there is. Oh no. No. Oh no. No. I see it. I see it. I see it. I don't know if I can execute it, but I can see it. It's the worst. <laughs> no! That was close timing, wasn't it? Okay. So this whole thing is going to be jumping there, and then jumping there, and then jumping. Oh, it's going to be all the wall. It's all the wall. Oh, this one sucks. I don't really want to do it, but I have to. Might not, might not be able to do this one. That sucks. Huh. No, too slow. No, no, I know that I've got it right. I just have to figure out how to execute it. Strawberries. I'm just really excited about doing this thing. Okay. No, 
that was too low. The thing is, you gotta realize I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get the strawberry at this point. I just wanna get, I'm just really excited about the fact that I think I figured out how to get somewhere and do something that I, that is hard. seems to be in keeping with the strawberries because it's not like you're like okay, hold on. Oops. jump don't fall Lauren jump don't fall no give up on this. So then, as Hein, that's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Oh my god! I I did better before. Huh. Okay, so we're hitting the point where my brain is forgetting how to play the game. Which is not good. No. I'm not sure that I have the skills to execute this one, which is fine. I will give myself credit for, I think, solving how to do it. That was a good, yes, good job, Lauren. No. Oh, huh. Okay. It's a good thing the music is so chill, right? Okay. Jump, jump, don't fall, jump, don't fall. No! This is a problem that I had with lots of games. No? Jump, don't fall! No! <laughs> no, that 
that's exactly not what I was supposed to do. All right, three more tries, folks. I'm gonna give it three more, three more tries. And then I think. No, I'm not close enough. I'm not close enough. Why are there little tentacly guys? Okay. Got it. Got it. guys up there I thought maybe they would mean something how do you jump across there how do you jump across there without using your dash there's got to be a way or those tentacly guys wouldn't be there over there underneath that how that was wrong I'm just thinking to myself sorry Try something really dumb. Okay, that is not what I meant. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, that didn't work. It's not memorization actually uh, puzzle solving as far as I can tell. It's less about do you know exactly what I'm to, like, like have you figured out how to solve this puzzle and then execute it? I forgot which button was what. wiggle when you run into them. It's very uncomfortable. Creepy ectoplasm buddies. All right. I don't know how many more times I can throw myself at this before deciding that I have hit the limit of throwing myself at it. Yes, they're wiggling me. Wiggling at me. As if to say... do this. Nope. Hold on. do that can you can you do that is that how that works no that is totally how it works okay then No, 
I did it wrong. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. No, I did it wrong. No, I did it wrong. No. I think I might be able to do it. I mean, I have to do it right. But I think I can do it. I'm getting messy. Also, I'm getting toasty. This hoodie is so warm. No. Yeah, I'm just like picturing like the wiggle friends just like wiggling their arms in time to the music. Like we are wiggle friends, wiggle friends, wiggle friends. Okay, Lauren. No. Oh. How did I do it that time? I don't know. It's too toasty. <laughs> it's wiggle time. <laughs> uh, okay. No, jump, 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 don't fall. Why, why am I, why? Do I not hit the button or do I hit the button with the wrong timing? It's a mystery. I don't know. I forgot how to play that. I forgot how to play the game briefly. I'm sorry, guys. Is that an ADHD brain thing? Like, is that related to like, short-term memory stuff? No! How do you do that without being too tired? How do you do that without her being too tired? It's gonna be tricky, isn't it? No, I don't understand how to do it. No, that's not enough. Because no, that's not that's not enough. I do not understand. Honestly, no. I think I've given it my best effort and I don't think I can execute it right now. They have two pianos in this hotel. That is as swanky as it gets. Yes, I think I can safely say I did a really good job on that one and I discovered new things and got better at the game. <laughs> he doesn't like this. This is prime tourism. Oh no! Oh, he's so sad. No, don't let him carry your luggage. No. <laughs> I like that. I really appreciate the. Oops. Oops. <laughs>
seven. No, there's no way. You can't. You don't have. You don't have enough room. Like yeah, that that thing goes down to no. No. Yeah, no. There's there's nothing I can do that I know how to do or execute. So I will move on. This is not a very hospitable hotel. Just saying. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Do the wiggles love it? I mean, I guess, like, I guess they're grooving. <sighs> okay. No! Okay. No! and it's only an hour and a half in. My goodness. I'm not used to playing games like this. No! No. Oh, okay, that would probably be easier. Okay. No! Uh. Oh no, it's a it, It's a it's not a it's it's just a callous thing rather than like an an injury thing. It's just the, uh... Okay. What do we do here? I don't know. Oops! <laughs> oh, jeez. Hold on. Just had to check, you know? Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, I'm not really asking for advice right now, though. I will let you guys know if I need help, which might wind up happening, but oh, hold on, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, okay. No, I think I can do that. Okay. No? Alright. So we hang out here. No, that's not it. If we... No! Alright. Grab hold on that and then go there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab onto this. Nope. I'm gonna have to uh hate everything about this room. No. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you had to. I thought I was trying to conserve my dash to get across there, but apparently not. Okay, so we're gonna try this. Okay, just had to be sure. Okay. <sighs> Didn't commit to it. Oh my god, I took too long. Good. <laughs> Second try or third try? That was not my first try. I'm pretty sure it was not my first try. All right, hold on. Okay. Must you game? The game is like, yes. This clock doesn't have an elixir, does it? Clock, do you have an elixir hidden in you? Hey, speaking of, we're gonna be doing Final Fantasy VI on Tuesdays again. Uh, we hadn't done Final Fantasy VI on Tuesdays, but we're going to do it now. Oh, I thought this... Okay. Um, because I want to finish it, and I think right now, this... The world needs hope. Oh, jeez, I did not think that was going to work. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Um, I have played five, which I didn't like very much, even though my sister loves it. I've played four a lot with my sister. I've played Mystic Quest a lot with my sister growing up. I played six. I know that's a surprise to everyone <laughs> that I played Final Fantasy VI. My sister and I played through seven back in the day and I didn't like it. I'm going to have to play the sequel to Crisis Core at some point when I get my PS4 back. Um, uh, I played 8 and gave up shortly after Disc 2 started because I decided I'd rather play Sweet Garden and I've never looked back. I love 9. I do love 9 very much. Um, and then I played 10, 10 on stream and I love it. Um, never played 11. The only MMO I've ever played is 14. I'm, I'm close to heaven's word. People told me that I was super close, but apparently I'm an entire, like, an entire point one away, which is a lot. But, um, yes, I've played Final Fantasy IV. So Mystic Quest was my first JRPG, and Final Fantasy IV, or release two, was the, uh... Hang on, sorry, my brain just lost track of the sentence I was trying to say. Okay, I was talking about Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, yes. My sister and I played Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and it took us the better part of a year because we'd never played a JRPG before and we were tiny children. Um, and then we played Final Fantasy II on the Super Nintendo, which is four, um, and it took us another year to beat it, um, but we loved it. And it's actually my sister's favorite. <laughs> my favorite is six. Okay. 
sorry, Peter. I... No! Oh, wow! Okay, you just, like, go vaulting over there. All right. Oh, no. Is Castlevania Circle in the Moon the Jonathan one? What's her name? And... Nope. Oh, my God. Timing. Unfortunately, I feel like I... Path Portrait of Ruin. Okay. Is Circle of the Moon one of the ones with Soma? I made my then boyfriend um, a Soma Cruise costume for Halloween one year. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I don't know if I know Circle of the Moon. I basically know the ones that he played. And then there's the one that my friend Chris um, uh, from Gimmick has played too. So many times that whenever he says that he's going to play it again, we tell him we're going to stage an intervention, which is the one with Shania? Is that her name? The vacuum cleaner girl. Ah, oh, the Sora ones. Yes, I knew that, actually, now that you say that, Blue Glass. Oops. I actually meant to cling to the wall, but I forgot which button did that. Huh. No. Oh Hold on. I'm sorry. I feel. I fear I might have used up more brain than I have. Uh. Nope. Okay, Lauren, take your time. Take your time. Because if you get the strawberry. I'm gonna try to get the strawberry. I think it's gonna be too stressful. Her name is Shinoa. I think I said Shania, but it's almost the same. Yeah, if I call her the vacuum cleaner girl, do you know why I call her that? Do you remember? Doesn't she like suck up bad guys' souls and abilities or something like that? I'm really. <laughs> Good at remembering things. Ah, I got it. 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 No! No! I don't got it. Oh, I don't climb. You jump. Oh, that's right. Into her sexy back. That sounds familiar. Okay. Jazz. Okay. That looks like a room I want to go to. But I don't know how. How do I get up there, my friends? Hmm. Actually, very close. My thumbs hurt. Oh no, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Oh, I see. Okay. No. Oh. Oh Hit the right button, Lauren. Okay. That's not what you're supposed to do. Nope. Nope. Can you stop? 
stop and jump part way through. No? Okay. No, you can't. Okay. Just there, we go. That's better. Nope, too soon. No, how do you? Oh, <gasps> oh, okay. No, no, I can do this. Maybe, maybe I can do this. That's not it. Okay. platformers but I'm playing this one so we will at some point need to use um, assist mode I'm sure of it no that was bad that was not what I meant to do okay okay I can do this I mean that's all flying is is controlled falling right okay so jump through no jump farther no <laughs> what happens? That's not what I meant to do. What happens if I go here? What's over here? Oh, it's a one way. It's a one way thing. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. Peter. Okay. Oh, right. You can just just grab onto the squiggle edges, Lauren. I'm off to a good start here. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't even know what I'm doing, but maybe I shouldn't do it. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a strawberry there. I don't think I'm going to worry without that one, though. Probably not, anyway. Yeah, that looks like a pain. Why is there a bed here? Why is there a bed here? <laughs> Silly me. <laughs>
just gonna die a whole lot here. You guys okay with that? <laughs> Yes. I got the strawberry, but then I didn't get it back. myself for getting to this room. <laughs> I don't know how I got it the one time I did, and I'm gonna give myself credit for finding it. I feel like that's pretty good. I got it once by fluke, and I found it, and that counts as success. Oh no! You've gotta be kidding me! I don't want it! What if I said no? What if I said no, huh? Oh my god. Can't believe I have to do this. I don't wanna do this! Why? No! Spinny thing make like a like it sounds like a creepy ghost laugh when you get it. Okay, maybe I should actually think about this. Um, or you could look at my cat. Can you see my cat? Let me make sure you guys can see my cat. Behold, cat. She is a baby. She cute. Oh, baby. I'm not going to play with her feet and annoy her. That wouldn't be very nice. Ah, no, Lauren. You got to you got to be prepared.
Oh no. I don't like it. gonna work that way but then once we get down here what do we get then we want to get to the sticky crummy wall and then we jump into the save which actually I don't think I don't actually think it's a floppy disk I thought it was a floppy disk I think it's just a sparkly crystal but I thought it was a floppy disk this has something about my brain are, is that what the like are the okay cave story are the save points floppy disks in that that are at that angle? Are they? What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of something. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. I did that wrong. Okay, so that's why that's why I thought it was that. Okay. Not that I've played Cave Story. And not that not that I likely ever will, but I've watched Cave Story. That was luck. That was luck. <laughs> oh good, the key stays with you when you die. No, that was luck. That was definitely luck. Key. Wait. Do you hear that? Pause notifications. Do not disturb for two hours. Okay. Sorry, you guys are getting my work notifications. Sounds. It's another random bed and a trash can. Wait, did I? No, I did this. I did that room. No, that's not a flute. But it could be. It could be. Oh my god, I just realized it could be. So I was just thinking about how cool it would be to play this with my band. And I was like, oh, but that sounds like a synth. But she can't do the volume. But the flute can do that. Oh my god. I'm so excited right now. Timing. So I look at this and I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. You know? No, that's not a midi flute. That's that's just a synth. Somebody who knows synths better would be able to tell you more about the kind of synth it is, but... Okay, Chrono. We've had no recurrences oops, of last last week's badness. So we're all good and Blues has it locked down. Oops. No, Lauren, no. Oop. No. It might be a square wave. I don't know. I don't, it's not quite, maybe. That's true, Dread Killer is here too, so. 
keep running right into the meatball. Don't run into the meatball. No. 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 Why is there an extra super jump? Is there a I bet there's a secret in that room. Either that or there. This room has a mountain symbol in it. Oh no! Oh, it's him. Hello. I appreciate that, Spiky. Although it feels like it'd be harder to uh, to get that than not get that, but I'm glad they have reasons. World class establishment. <laughs> oh no! I do really appreciate the touch of the ectoplasm sweat drop. Really curious who the other person is. If Battleline comes to the uh, the real world or not. You know what happens if you die in this room? Let's find out. Okay, nothing. There's just like stacks of laundry and books and stuff just like floating. Cowboy hat. Oh my god. Okay, this is a mess. Mr. Ghosty friend, this is a mess. Okay, so there's a key here. Or rather there's a lock and there's a key over here. He's just like, he looks like he lost the key. Oh my God, did you lose the key, buddy? He did, didn't he? How on earth? Oh my God. This is uh, quite a thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> He's gonna end less me for help. Oh my god, so much drama. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh no. Oh good, we get to know more about him. Were you always sad? Creepy piano. It's good. Hmm. No. Eternally is all wiggly there. Did you see that? No. Okay. Oh, 
I was trying to conserve my energy, but I probably don't need to. So you might not know about this about me, but I, my mother is a piano teacher. So I grew up with piano in my life all the time. So I was just like having, I just like having piano in my life. Oh, so this makes me happy. Ah. Uh. What is, what is, what is that? Don't tell me, I want it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> okay, I want to know what the deal is with that. It's interesting that this is a door. She has a. She she makes things glow around her. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do either. Oh, maybe if I jump instead of falling, that'll help. What do you think? Okay, that was the wrong timing. But I think that's. Caramel. Nope, that's totally the wrong timing. So if I jump while it's almost at the bottom. No. Now here, let's not let's not make oh, okay. strawberry. No, not fast enough. Okay. Nope. Peter, it's a it's a joke when when a woman is pregnant, people will be like, "Oh, you're glowing." Not like literally glowing though. such a good job with 
the timing of these things so far. strawberry. I did not expect that to work, but it did. That didn't work though. Flutie Bot is here to try to encourage us to take good care of ourselves. No! You don't use up stamina if you do that. And stamina is in short supply, don't you know? <gasps> no! I keep doing that. I keep doing that. There's probably a way to do it that is better, but I didn't do that way. Sorry, you guys have to deal with the angry frog face. Sorry, Strawberry, I couldn't get you. Oh, book! Oh, well, the books went away! Does that mean that... Now there's whistling. Is that whistling or is that like a theremin or something like that? Does that mean there's not gonna be books? There's not books! Oh my god, does it get harder every time you do it? Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? Oh, that is a theremin, okay. My friend Danny is really good at both whistling and theremin. Okay, so I can swim. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's the laundry. Oh no! The hotel has closed and he, his spirit is clinging. Maybe it closed because he died. No. Okay. 
while jumping. Had to try that. <sighs> oh my god. It... Though, the spikes don't necessarily kill you, huh? Oh my god. No. Wait, but how do you... This is totally the uh, the thing that teaches you strawberry, but I didn't do it right. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm not uh, not reading chat very well right now. I figure I'll hit a point where I can't progress in it, and it probably won't take very long, and then we'll be done with it. Is this like a thing where you like, no? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh! What? This is just the only time I've ever played a game that's like more 2D platformy that doesn't have wall jumping. Or not wall jumping, it has wall jumping, but it doesn't have wall clinging. That I'm not like instantly failing at and I'm enjoying the novelty of it. Oops. God, can you believe that I beat that? Oh my God, I'm so excited.
Oh, right. There's double jumping. Just the little platform there have a bow tie. I've never... Okay, so I tried playing Ice Climbers and very quickly decided that it was not for Lawrence. Probably for reasons that are becoming evident. They're out of cravats. You... You're probably right there, Gundy, but... Oh my god. Oh, so close. Oh my god. Okay, this is probably probably enough of this for me. <gasps> oh, how exciting! Well, that's cool. I'm excited about that. So it feels like this whole... So is that like a proof of concept of this game? Controls felt pretty good. That's really cool. <laughs> Lightness is spirit. See, it's funny because he's a spirit because he's a ghost. So did they make that before this and then we're like, okay, people do like this game, let's go ahead and actually make, like, build out a game? Power of positive thinking. <laughs> it's because I cleaned things, so. There is no staff. Actually, I think she's, I think she's happy to help. That resonate. You let your problems pile up. Your home becomes a decrepit, undead hotel remnant on a mountain. to do. Or if I decide that I don't want to do that, there's another... I thought the platforming going around this room seemed too easy. Just imagine how much of a pain it'll be once we can go anywhere. Because we've gotten rid of all this stuff. Okay, so that's closed. No! Lauren, do better. 
maybe not. How? Okay, so I can't go through there. I thought there were two ways that opened. This is where it came from, right? Actually, no, it's not. Oh. They were just like, hey, we felt sorry for you, so we made you a strawberry that you can just get to. Oh! Oh, was that a, was that like kind of like a... Ah! Thank you, Peter. Okay, that makes sense. So now I want to like go and check everything. Wait, does that mean? Why would we go another route? Theo! <laughs> like a guest is in quotes. <laughs> he is having a hard time. <sighs> I'm so glad it's Theo. I was hoping it was Theo and not like secretly a bad guy. Oh. Oh. I love that his speech bubble background is plaid. <laughs> ah, that's problem solving. No, he wants to make us stay. That's concerning. She is very sweet. <laughs> Creepy old dudes. He's a ghost, Theo. No, I think only Theo has a unique one. He's so much taller. He's sweet! Is she like... <sighs> Don't tell me the answer to this. But she does seem to be like impossibly... Like supportive of like other people. Like convinced things are gonna go okay with other people. But not so convinced that things are gonna go okay with her. Oops. Yeah, I had a different color. What? Oh. I better come back after I've done the laundry. Oh, that was luck. Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna come back when the laundry is done. Okay, hold on. No. No. Oh, I didn't even see that one over there. What did I do on my first try? I don't think I did anything on my first try. Oh, there's a safe spot over there. Oh, 
What was the last room? Oh! Yeah, that was kind of luck. I don't know. D-pads and I don't usually get along, but, uh... Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm not gonna get- I love that it looks like the strawberry is like- it's bathing. The strawberry is having a luxurious bath. Sorry, strawberry. But I just don't care that much. Yeah, I use the analog stick, but I, uh, I use the same name for that and the D-pad to basically mean I can't direction very well in games. jump. Nope. 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 Boop. Boop. No. Ectoplasm hamburgers! how many sound effects I make just by existing until I was a babysitter at one point and I uh, was watching a kid's TV channel and the little animated characters made sound effects with their mouths constantly and I was like oh I do that too. Oh. I'm like a walking talking children's entertainment show It's actually funny, I was talking to uh, Chrono recently about my, my long history as a babysitter. Um, so hopefully we've got babysitting on the brain. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what I do here. What do I do here? How do I even get it? I don't know. I did sit on them on occasion. If a kid was bad, I would sit on them. And then they would be like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, I'm a babysitter. That means I sit on you. They were like, this is not how it works, Laura. And I was like, oh, is it not? Who's the babysitter here, huh? It's pretty great, actually. I wonder what some of those kids are up to. Oh my god, do you have to like... Hold on. We're gonna do a dumb thing here. Do you have to like unlock the secret room to be able to get there? No! I did it wrong.
It only, like, I only did it sometimes. Like, the thing is, if you're a babysitter, you can't sit on children all the time. Hey, it's Tom, right? Okay, well, I don't know. Huh, that's weird. I haven't figured that out. <sighs> Hold on. I'm going to try again. Only to a uh, test a theory here. It's gonna be harder from this side, but <sighs> that didn't work. Ectoplasm meatballs. If you can survive ectoplasm meatballs. Hold on. No, no, I'm not actually asking chat. I'm mostly just. does not appear that I can do that with the water. I wonder if I turn off the water earlier. Well, I don't know. section here that looks like it's going to clear out once I've done the laundry. I wonder if I'm not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Unlocking ketchup and then you can eat the meatballs just fine. Hi, guy next door. I see that you are in the spirit of this very haunted hotel. <sighs> I mean, there's the trout yogurt. <laughs> it's going. I feel like this room will be better once I've done some of the laundry, but also it might be harder in some places. historically have been very bad at platformers and I hate 2D platformers, but people talk to me into giving this one a try. So. <gasps> no, I was so close! The worst! Yeah, so the uh, spoiler chat is, yes! I did it! I don't know whether it, it accomplished anything, but I did it. Did you see those things, like, stop and look at me creepily? Oh my god. Oh 
my god. This looks like a nightmare. Okay, can you just... Hmm. Oh my god. Time to get serious! Or is that... Or is that... Oh man. Don't make me do my Mega Man X voice. Okay. Wow, this means you all! <laughs> the only one that I've played myself is the first one. And as I've said before, I got to the Sigma stages and was told that that's sufficient. Um, but I have, uh, I have watched it be played. Thanks, Peter. I'm not sure I do. Oh, I could have actually done that with like a little like hop hop. Oh man, I'm so glad that we're all having a... Is Blues here? Blues, we're talking about Mega Man. Where are you, my friends? <laughs> okay, that hop pop wasn't quite right. Okay. Oh, I've heard them. I am playing this on PC. Slow motion dabs. Okay, you know, Tom, I think that counts. Flutie Bot will give you full credit for that. Uh, Wired 360. It is what I play all of my games on. Except for the ones on the Wii U, obviously. Oh no! Okay, so I think I want to do the little hop thing. I don't know. No? What if... No? I do not have a switch, and... Oh, let's not talk about command mission, shall we? <laughs> no! Okay. I don't know, are we gonna have to bust out our first assist mode? We might, we might actually. I don't know what it, I don't even know what the assist modes are, but we might do it. This is an absolutely no shame. Um, I had a little spiel that I did at the beginning of this stream when I first started streaming this game and I stand by it, which is to say, Oops. I will use assist mode if and when I need it. I have, I have nothing to prove to anybody. I am playing games because I wanna play games and I have fun with them. I'm a, uh, challenging myself by playing outside of my comfort zone. Playing a game that is a genre that I have a lifetime of hating. No? Okay. Maybe if I like learn the timing instead of randomly guessing. <laughs> okay. If I jump while he's at the top, then he's then he hits me just as I hit there. So, what if I jump when he's at the bottom? Then I hit him in the middle. Okay, so he has to be not at either extreme. Got it, buddy. Okay, well maybe I shouldn't go that far down. No, he was at the bottom again. Meatball, no. No meatball, no. No! I've done it like twice. No! Chrono the meatball does not need your cheering. It's doing just fine with <laughs> killing me. <laughs> OK, 
okay so you want it when it's like halfway going up okay we'll try that nope that wasn't right I think uh guy next door, I think he's just um making sure that um I don't feel pressured to uh do assist mode, which isn't really my Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright. I didn't need that strawberry. Oh man, we're about to have the laundry done. Are you ready to have done the laundry? We're gonna go back the way we came. Oh man! Wait, no! Wait, are you... But... I mean, the music's amazing, but... Okay, that, that goes to that, okay. The music is really epic. So could you just not encounter Theo? Like, is that an option? The music is super cool. thought to do wall jumping until I played the little mini version. But there were things I was going to go back and do, I thought. Oh well. Oh, no. 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 Oh. I don't feel like I can... God, the music got so intense. Oof! Alright. What luxuries? Um, he's not having... What do you have to say, friend? So here's the laundry room. So why did he send everyone else home and then his spirit is still here haunting this place? Didn't I nope out of this room? Oh, can you unlock... You unlock different things depending on what order you do things in, huh? Oh, man. like the meatball timing bits. No, I don't want the meatballs. Oh, that's true. I didn't want the Theopath. 
But I also noped out of it because I saw that there was a key and I was like, that looks complicated. I don't want to do that. No, I don't know. Maybe if I just... No. Don't run into the meatball, Lauren. Oh. It's easier if you just, like, try to just, like, do it. No! That wasn't right. making a remix. I do appreciate that there's no penalty for repeatedly ramming my face into... Nope! Nope. Nope. Sorry if I'm really loud into the mic. No! Oh my god. No! like not the way that they want me to go. How do I go that way? Hmm. No, I spiked. No. Are you being sarcastic? Cause my friend, one of my friends had said this is actually like legit her favorite chapter. No, nope, I'm too slow. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to wait it out below that guy. Oh no. I'm not, as, as you can tell, timing stuff is not my greatest strength here either. Hey okay, Lauren, you can't hang on that wall for that long because otherwise you're gonna wind up losing your stamina and falling face Place planting into some spikes. Are you eating their dust bunnies? They feel like, uh, I decided they were ectoplasm meatballs. Well, actually, somebody else decided they were meatballs, which I thought was a good name for them, but they are definitely ectoplasm. Really, Blues? Alright, so it's gonna take a little while, folks. I'm sorry. I think it's safe to say that timing is not my favorite. Oh, 
Oops. Oh yeah, the star blocks were super cool. Oops. Oops. I don't even know what the remaining things are that we're putting away. No? For me, this feels a lot harder than the optional secret strawberry stuff that I've been doing. It's certainly less fun. Like this room right here might single-handedly ruin this chapter for me. Yeah, I thought they might be like rolls of paper towels or something like that. I didn't even go up. I didn't even hit the up button there. I don't know why. I don't know why that's happening. I have no idea. I mean, I'm probably hitting a jump button without realizing it. The thing is, I haven't really had this much trouble with anything else. I think it's, it's safe to say that this is the, uh... The hardest I've had. I might actually turn on assist mode for this room. So the thing is, usually with things in this game, I'm like, I'm gonna keep going. And I'm learning, and I'm getting better every time. Nope. <laughs> Here the question is, can I get the timing precise? Can I get it exact? Can I be on exactly the right place at the right time and then hit the stick in the right direction at the right time? Which is why I don't play platformers. Like if the entire game was this room, I would be using assist mode in every single room. theoretically do it? Oh, probably. The question is, can I do it without hating the game and the, and the thing and going to bed miserable tonight? Like, that's just mean. Like, that's just nasty. That's just, like, punishing. And I hate punishing games. I hate them. Why does anybody make a game that is designed to punish the player? Like, I know that there are people who enjoy games that are, that are, that penalize them, that are like sadistic, but there are people who like to be hurt physically too. So like, I don't understand. I don't know why. It's the least. Interesting, doesn't it? How on earth am I gonna get out of here? That's right, Peter. Oops. Oh my god, Fuzzy Werewolf. That is a good... That's a good mental image. Okay, I can do this. Okay. 
you want to try not to activate too many of the worms. She says before climbing the entire wall. Oh no, I'm probably going to regret that. Okay, so I have to be careful about clinging to the wall. So I'm going to have to stop down there. Oh no! Are they serious? They are. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> oh my god! That's the worst! <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually going to bother getting this one, but I'm kind of excited about it. Oh shoot, that's going to hurt. Didn't even get the stuff. <laughs> oh, that was too slow, huh? Oh no, that's gonna not be my favorite. Hmm. Oh, I didn't hit my head on that one up there, okay. Hold on, let's freaking do this. All right. Yes. No! Oh, I see, okay. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see, okay. I don't know if I have the skill to execute this one. But I'm really, really intrigued by this. Like, why is that up there? I don't know. Because I shouldn't need those creepy crawlies over here, you know? I'm, th I'm thinking blue glass, yeah. Let me give it one more try to see if I can try something. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard. But it's cool. Okay. I'll always have to test that. So I'm thinking that I made a mistake in the order that I did things in. But I'll take that little bit of luck right there. Oh Are you serious? Thank you guys, that was mostly luck. Okay, and then you want to go from there to the wall, and then you climb up the wall and do the same thing. This is nasty. Does anybody else just keep the grab button down the whole time? I was doing it until just now and I was like what is that button that I'm holding okay
Well, I will say, if by difficulty spike you mean the rest of the game from here on out is like this, I'm not going to enjoy the rest of the game, <laughs> but I will still try playing it anyway. <laughs> because this has ceased being fun by any stretch of the imagination. This is everything that I've always hated about platformers. This is why I never play them. This is why Mario is a thing that I absolutely loathe until it became 3D. This is why I can never play Cave Story. This is why I'm never gonna beat the Mega Man X games because they're less brutal than this, but they're still a little brutal for me. Okay, well, we'll see whether the rest of it I can, I can get by. But for those of you who are like, Lauren's actually secretly good at platformers, observe. This is what I'm talking about. This chapter right here is what I mean. <laughs> because how is that fun? What, what is enjoyable? about taking 50 tries to even get to the fourth, and I know it's not 50, it's an exaggeration, but it's not that much of an exaggeration, to even get to the fourth one that I can't do. What's fun about this? What, what am I accomplishing? What, what, what kind of better am I getting? How am I possibly improving as a gamer? How am I possibly learning to think better about the game? What about this is beneficial in any way? I can say from personal experience that when I beat this, like this room, I'm not going to cheer. There are things that have been hard that I cheered and I died a whole bunch because you learn and you get better, Spikey. This is my, this is, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not. You can't make me. Nothing is gonna make me do this. I'm sorry, guys. I hate, 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 hate a Kafka number of hates. I hate platformers. I hate them. I hate them so much. <sighs> like, you'll notice that I'm not even trying to do the thing that makes it slightly harder. I just want it done. I want it over. I don't ever want to look at it again. <laughs> so I guess this is why we're playing this game. <laughs> Honestly, Dreadkiller, I think that the cop lock was 100% justified. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this. It's it's time for me to wrap anyway. And I don't mean like I'm gonna like bust out some cool somethings, but it is ten o'clock, which is the time that I usually shut down. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this down. So this is not actually I want to make I want to make it clear this is not actually a complaint about this game, okay? This is a mismatch between a player and a game. Um, like I've said before, Mario three and even like the so the Mario two that we didn't get the lost levels and Mario three have some of the most they remain some of the most brilliantly designed 2D platform levels I have ever seen in my life. I don't play these games. I watch people play them. I have seen people who can, I, I have seen somebody who is the kind of player that those games are for. I have seen his mind churning as he goes through it and learns and gets better and improves. And it is a beautiful thing to behold. Um, and this I'm sure is fantastic for what it is. Even those harder levels 
I'm sure that a lot of people find them at the very threshold of tolerable, but they can get them and then they get that rush of relief and that rush of satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, Lost Levels is really, really hard. There's a reason why it didn't get brought, brought over to the US as Mario 2. There's a reason why we got whatever it's called skinned as Mario 2, because the original Mario 2 that is Lost Levels is outrageously difficult. But it's outrageously difficult in a you just beat Mario 1, which is really hard. Now try this. And it's, it's brilliant and it's fantastic and I hated every second I played of it. I hated it so much. Um, but it's nothing wrong with the game. Like, I will sing its praises. That's the thing. I, I can sing the praises of these games. I just can't play them. And it's, it's also possible if the one that I happened to do last is the hardest one to do last, that, then that's, that's unfortunate. But, I mean, they designed it for you to be able to do it in a different order if you wanted to, and they don't have any signposts telling you what to do. Um, but no, my complaints about this are not, Celeste is bad. Um, my complaints are that I have hit a brick wall. There were a couple of times in Dark Souls that I summoned help because I just couldn't do it, and it got to the point where there was no point in me continuing to try. Um, because ultimately you have to be getting something out of what you're putting your time and energy and effort into. And there are people who are motivated hugely by the experience of overcoming um, something really hard. And so that gives them that extra spike of endurance that they need to get through this. I don't have that. Um, that's not one of my primary motivators. Um, and there's nothing wrong with people loving that stuff. No, Peter, I did hit a brick wall. I'm going to have to go out on a limb here and say that I know myself better than you do. And I know that you have this idea of me being able to overcome this. Um, I gave my everything. And when I lost my temper with the game, it wasn't because I was tired. It was because I knew that I had hit something that no matter what I did, I was never going to get better at it, and I was never going to enjoy it. And our all, our options were assist mode or Celeste is over forever. <laughs> so I did my best, and I have absolutely no qualms about asking for help because there are things I don't have. It's not, no, Peter, it's not a puzzle. It stopped being a puzzle. It started being a timing game. I will, here, I'm gonna cut myself off here and I'm gonna say, when a person starts challenging something that I'm saying about myself, I become incandescently angry. So please, Peter, even if you believe that, never say that to me, never. I am asking you for my own mental health and the well-being of the stream to everybody, never, ever tell me that I am mistaken in how I am feeling or how I am interpreting myself. You don't want to see what happens. I don't want to see what happens. That is something that I have zero tolerance for. Um, but at least I have the self-awareness to recognize that and back it down <laughs> before it comes. So please don't do that. Um, <laughs> thank you, Blues. No, I very much appreciated that. Um, there, are, there were times in Dark Souls that were almost too much. Um, yeah, actually, okay, this music is very intense. It's actually super cool. I'm gonna take a minute here and I'm gonna talk about like mental health and self-awareness and things like that. Um, and some struggles that I've battled that have nothing to do with Celeste, which I've been told is about a mental health journey. People have, have, have sold it to me that way. Um, which makes sense given that it seems that our, our ultimate villain, who I sure hope we don't fight, but probably will at the end of this, um, is, uh, is, is self-doubt. Um, but I'm just gonna go off for a moment on something that is really important to me. Um, if you have any sort of like mood disorder or something like that, your brain doesn't react to things proportionately to how other people necessarily expect you to. 
Um, and so there's something very particular about the, like, the particular pattern of my brain. Um, and there's other people who have brains like this, which is how I know this. No, it's okay, Peter. It's okay. Um, I know that you're not trying to hurt me. Um, we all have our problems that we have to learn to overcome if we want to be responsible, considerate humans um, who are good to and not harmful to the people around us. Um, and I've done a lot of work, and fortunately for me, a lot of people before me have done work and they have left tips on when your brain is like this, how do you still try to at least not be your worst self? Due to instability in my life during the period of time that a person develops their sense of self, I didn't develop a sense of self. And I spent several decades of my life without a strong sense of self. Which meant that when somebody said something hurtful to me, like if somebody says to you, like, I think you're so dumb you can't even read. Like, your brain probably is like, I literally just read those words. That's ridiculous. I know that's factually wrong. Um, and there are a lot of things that are less provably factually wrong, but that people are like, no, I can tell for a fact that that mean thing you just said to me isn't, isn't true. Um, I didn't have that for most of my life. I had no no innate sense of me that allowed me to say you're wrong when somebody said something hurtful to me or misunderstood me i'd be like what if they're right what if they're right i can't i can't tell if they're right or not they might as well be right because i don't know it was like if i looked at myself i saw a question mark and the only way that i could see myself is by looking at how other people mirrored me so I built myself this armor of the good things people said about me. I kept an entire file cabinet of the short stories and papers, essays, things that I'd written that had gotten praise from teachers for my entire academic career. Um, because when something beat me down, I had nothing inside of me to build myself back up. I had to look at those to, to inflate myself back into being a functional human. Um, and that means that when somebody says something that's gently critical, um, because you can't fight against it, it hurts really badly every time. Um, and sometimes when you, when you get that experience, you feel like you're attacked. Um, and when we're cornered, when we're hurting, like we're animals, just like any other animal when we're hurting, we lash out. And some of the moments in my life that I'm most ashamed of are because I lashed out, because I was hurting for some reason. Um, and I very much, which probably comes as no surprise to those of you who've been watching my stream for years, I, I very much don't want to hurt people. I would say one of my primary, um, one of my primary motivations in life is to try not to hurt people. And so to know that there was, I couldn't, I couldn't control it. I couldn't not, like, had this huge reaction where I just, I felt like somebody had just wrapped the inner core of me in spikes that were piercing through to my center and there was nothing I could do. Um, and, and that's just not tenable. Like, you just, you cannot, you can live like that. Um, but it's not good, it's not fun, and it hurts. Um, and it's also frustrating to be like, I don't know what kind of a person I am. I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm like. I don't know what I like. I don't know what things make me happy. I don't know what kind of a person I am. Like, it's, it's a very strange and painful existence to not be able to answer basic questions about yourself and to only have what other people say about you to go on. Um, so I, I at some point decided I need to be, you know, a stabler, solid human being. I need to fix this. Um, and fortunately worked with a really good therapist who had kind of already identified that this is a problem and had already started working with me. And one of the things that is fundamental to working with people who have this lack of self, self, this lack of self, just plain lack of self, is that you have to 
kind of when they get into that defensive mode you have to say like no no you are real and, and valid and your feeling is real and valid and it's okay you are okay and then you can start having a productive conversation about what you can do about it but first you have to get that like you have to smooth down the feathers or the fur so to speak um, and then the claws go away and so that's something that I've learned that I have to do for myself as I can feel the claws coming out and I recognize it's 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 a fear response more than anything um, and I've worked super hard to gather things to myself and I sometimes still have to reassure them because I don't have the innate sense of self still, but I have built one myself out of myself that I have faith in. So I can say I am a person who anytime you ever see me streaming and you hear me say, well, I'm a person who, that's a victory for me right there. Like anytime you hear that as a casual comment, like don't know how hard I had to work to get there. You don't know how much of my life I couldn't even say that. So every time I say I am a person who likes saying like, and, and when, when I do my like overcoming shyness and making friends um, panel, one of the things I talk to people about as far as like self-esteem is to have one, I call it a golden thread, one thing you love about yourself. That no matter what you hold on to that and say, but I love this, no matter how down I'm feeling about myself. And my golden thread, the one thing that no matter what is going on in my life and in my head, no matter how much I've either lost my sense of self or my sense of self-worth, the one thing I can cling to, fundamentally, I don't want to hurt people. And I can hold on to that and say, I am a person who doesn't like to hurt people. And I can say that with conviction and it's really nice. Um, but I can say, yes, that's my core. Everything else about who I am and how I know myself goes back to that. And no matter what is happening, that's, that's, that's it. I have notebooks filled with things that I wrote, tearing myself apart, tearing about every, everything that I knew that I hated about how it seemed that I was. And then slowly learning to talk about that in neutral language and also making notes of the things that I was finding to be true. And as I was talking to someone and noticing patterns in myself and my behavior, I would say, oh, I'm a person who, on this stream, not necessarily this game, although we've seen some of it in this game, I'm a person who enjoys solving puzzles. I am a person who enjoys strategic thinking. And because I've been able to recognize that, now I'm doing strategy stuff for work, which I would never have thought I could do because that wasn't part of my identity, but it is a part of my identity. And other people even want you like, you know, like six or seven years ago, I even had people saying you're a strategic thinker and I was like, no, I'm not. Well, it turns out I am. It turns out that strategizing things is, is, is something that I really love doing and I'm good at, but I didn't know that until I started really putting thought and effort into looking at myself. Um, and I do think that it is good for people, even if you have an innate sense of self, which I don't know what that's like. Most people have some degree of that, I'm told. Um, and psychologists, psychiatrists, like researchers on that sort of thing agree. Most people have that. There is a specific subset of people who do not, and it is a problem. Um, but even if you do have that, it's probably good to be able to say, these are the things I know about myself that I love. Um, I don't know, I think self-awareness is really, really important. Um, and because I've done so much work, and because I am hyper-motivated to try to do better and be better, combination of I don't want to hurt people, and I'm a very strategic, problem-solving, puzzle-solving type of person. You put those two things together, I know those are two about myself, which is... It's really good. I really like that I know that about myself. But because of that, that means that when I'm like, hmm, there's something about me that is hurtful or bad or out of my control or that I don't like, what can I do about it and how do I do that? So, yes, I cannot make myself not be the way I am, but I can hack my brain. I cannot make myself not hurting and 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 
desperately defensive of that sense of self that I spent years of my life and my blood, sweat, and tears trying to create. I can't make myself not defensive of that, but what I can do is say, hold up, I know this thing, I see what's happening, and I can't control my feeling, but I can control what I do about it. And I also learned that it's okay to tell people I need help. So when I say, please never do that to me, that's me asking for help. That's me saying, for my well-being, I need that. Um, and it's why, like, if you read my YouTube comments, occasionally I will get really nasty or snippy and reply to someone, I don't like that I'm like that. I try really hard to control it, so sometimes it's really passive-aggressively there, but it's still there. Sometimes that's the best I can do. Um, I hate that. Occasionally it'll come out on Twitter where I don't really necessarily have time to think, um, but I recognize why I do that. And so I can ask the people around me to please understand this is a thing that I know that hurts me, that you don't mean to hurt me, and there's it's, and it's not a necessary thing. So usually Twitter's fine. It's where I throw random ideas and talk to people about cats and food mostly. <laughs> um, I did make a private account so I could scream into the void and not have it reflect badly on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's this has been an extremely, extremely important part of my personal journey. And people who knew me three years ago, like I was, I recently reconnected with an ex-girlfriend of mine who used to be one of my best friends. Um, and then uh, we dated, and I was not in a good, a good space, and so it didn't wind up working out. Um, but she saw me when I was really 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 hurt and just beginning some of this journey like less than a year after I ended my marriage so it was like just big amorphous like bleeding all over the place messy Lauren and so I reconnected with her recently for the first time in three years and she was like you've changed which is really nice because I worked really hard at that um and I'm telling you guys all of this I guess partly so that you understand what just happened um, because I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, that I'm sorry that I got angry with you. You were just trying to help and you were just trying to encourage me to do my best because you want me to get that feeling of accomplishment and success. And I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate your faith in me and I appreciate that you want me to have a good experience. Um, so I'm not angry with you, but I will still ask with my whole heart that when I say I'm done, I can't do this, this hurts, that you trust me to know myself well enough that when I say, I don't enjoy this kind of activity, you let, you let me know that. Um, because sometimes my brain can hear something along the lines of, but how do you know you don't like it if you haven't tried it? which is a phrase that many people have associated with deep personal trauma. So it's a combination of things that hit just wrong. So I will ask you kindly, please not to. And the same goes, I guess, for, for others, because I know that people are well-meaning, and I think we might have even had this happen occasionally on the Dark Souls stream. And the last thing I want to do is hurt people. Yeah, no, it was great, Dr. McKenna. I hit some rooms that just were like, I just, I hit a point where I couldn't do it anymore. And I turned on invincibility to get through one of them. And I hit on, I turned on infinite jumps to get through the other, and it was good. Um, see, Peter, that is the philosophy of the game for most of the game and I can accept the repetition and go over and over and over again and get better. But when I hit a point in which I know that I'm not going to get better at it because the section of the game that I just did plays differently than everything else. I said at the beginning of this game, as I was beginning to get into it, oh, this has both wall hugging and dashing, two things that make this game forgiving. Therefore, I will be able to play it. I can play games that are challenging, but forgiving. I cannot 
play games that are exacting and demanding. I am a messy person. I do not do precision. I do not do precision with my art. I do not do precision with my music. I do not do precision with anything I do. I'm not the person that you, I mean, I can proofread pretty well, um, but I'm not the person you want to be doing your arithmetic or your, um, anything that requires you to absolutely get exactly the right answer. I'm not your person and I never have been. And that's okay. Um, for all that I'm a perfectionist, I can't do things that call for precision. I just can't. So the sections of this game that require precision and perfection, I'm never going to get that reliably. I just can't. My brain can't fire consistently that, that often, even if I were to understand it. Um, it's just like I'll be in the middle of playing a game and forget what button does what. Okay, Peter, if I were to put three hours into that one room, perhaps I might be able to do it. Perhaps. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like hell. <laughs> and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, so, I... I will pass. I will pass on. To me, that sounds about as appealing as well. If you go after your finger with a knife off enough, you might, you will eventually cut your finger off. Okay. You know. So I, I have, I feel like. I feel like, by and large, I've done a good job of facing challenges and doing doing well. I think I have done things that I would never have thought were possible and taken chances and risks and things that people are like, oh no, Lauren, I don't know if you should do this one. I think it's going to be too frustrating for you. And I, and I did them, and I took that chance. So I don't think the problem here is that I am not giving this game that tr that chance or that try. I think the problem is that this section of the game plays differently than the other parts of the game. And it plays in a way that that is why I don't play platformers. And if not for assist mode, we would be done and I would never pick up Celeste again. But we have assist mode, which means I can get through that. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. There are certain, because there's a lot of different components that go into playing a game and being good at a game. There's, there's a lot of different things that you can be good at and that you can improve at. Um, there's, because there's the thinking and there's the executing and then there's multiple components to each of those. <laughs> I guess that is one advantage that I have 95 Fathoms is that I, I don't have the, feelings of obligation, knowing that I can say no, I'm done, is like having a safe word in this game, and that's why we're playing it. Um, and yeah, no, I will definitely say I've massively improved at the game, and it's been amazing and a really, really satisfying experience to be able to put into practice things that I watched other people do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Dr. McKenna, I think it's brilliantly designed because I was just done at that point. Nothing but just getting me out of that room was going to work because like, because the platforms were so small and the precision was so right. And like, if the platforms were bigger and the timing was a little easier and there weren't ectoplasm meatballs. <laughs> Yeah. Whereas like there might be a thing where I'm like, no, I think I can do this. If I just do that, I think I can do this. And that might be a fun thing to try to get some of the strawberries or something like that, just to see if I can. Um, just like playing DDR, sometimes you slow it down and you learn. Um, but yeah, no, I feel very proud of myself for what I've done. And I'm also proud of myself 
for using assist mode with no shame and no hesitation in the maximum form of it. You know. <laughs> yeah, and if we get to the end of it, I want to see what happens. I mean, let us not forget that when I beat, after I beat Dark Souls, I went back and non-New Game Plus made a whole new character sequence broken fought some bosses I'd had trouble with as a super underleveled character and won. So I know that it's possible. Um, but, uh, oh, probably beating that section first would be easier because it would be more forgiving. That's a possibility, Blue Glass. <laughs> I think that's a really excellent dread killer. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of, for me, Dr. McKenna, that's kind of what the point of having difficulty levels is. Because that way more people can have a version of the experience. That is really exciting, Kerner, and I'm excited to hear that. I knew going into it that I wasn't going to be able to say that, and I'm glad now, today, that I'm like, okay, I've officially used assist mode, but I feel like I used assist mode exactly as much as I needed and no more. Um, and I intend to continue doing so, yeah. But even, even more powerful than easy normal hard settings. I think that's a good way of putting it blinks back. Yeah, no, this is a brilliantly designed game, and again, I want to stress that even the section that I hated playing tonight was well done. You know? It's well designed and clearly there are people who really thrive on that kind of challenge and found it very doable and very satisfying. That's outstanding. I'm not one of those people, but I'm very glad for them that they can have that experience and I'm very glad for me that I can opt out of it. Yeah. I remember watching somebody play the Ninja Gaiden remake, which would have been back in like, what, 2004, 2005, maybe? Um, and just being like, I cannot comprehend this. You're getting angry and you're not having fun. And he was like, when I defeat it, like when I, when I win, then it will retroactively become fun. I was like, wow, <laughs> we are very different people. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Oh, are you like that blues? <laughs> this was a this was a, a friend of mine back in college. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't believe people are magically amazing at things. My my grandpa used to say to my aunt, who was an artist but he discouraged her from art when she was younger because he was like, you know, real artists can just pick up a pencil and draw. And she believed him for a long time. And then as an adult, she got into art more. And she's incredible. And I know that it weighs on her wondering what could have happened if she had been discouraged early on. Um, so once my grandpa started saying, the reason why I know about this is because he started saying that to me at some point when he saw me with my sketchbook because she just tore her into him. Um, so I know, I know that it takes work to do things, but I can also say there are things that a person can get better at and a thing that a person kind of has, has a harder time to the point where one might as well not try. Um, especially like depending on like what your brain is capable of processing at what speed, you know? Like there are, there are, my brain has some weaknesses as we've discussed and one of its weaknesses is that it randomly forgets what it's doing and I can't keep track of buttons and multi multiple things reliably. Um, so. <laughs> it's an interesting insight, Dr. Meccano. Man, this music is so intense. It's so, like, creepy, too. Yeah, and there have been things that I got frustrated on and still managed to overcome. 
but I also know there are things that I, for all intents and purposes, can't do. And I don't really want to devote enough of my life to becoming mediocre at it. So I will just settle for not being any good at it. <laughs> it's like there are people who are more naturally gifted at certain things. That is fair advice, Soul and Light. I will definitely listen to the music of this game. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, okay. All right. Okay, Mr. Karatera, you're gonna have to, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. I know, wait, we both know what I mean. You're gonna have to bear with me on this because you are far more singly than I am, but. Sorry, this is just this is just turning into 30 minutes of Lauren talking about mental health and things like this. Men mental health and self-improvement in non-mental health related ways. Um, I grew up playing piano because my mom's a piano teacher. I was never the student that she got really excited about teaching. I was her daughter and she loved me and she loved that I had certain strengths that she had. Um, but I was never the student that she, that her eyes got real big when that student played, the one that she entered in competitions, the ones that she stayed like after their lesson to teach them, the ones that she offered to teach for free. I, I, I knew which of her students she did that for and I was not one of them. Um, I played flute and I started flute earlier than other people in my grade level. Um, so I was better than... I was better than them because I had a head start and I have an innate musicality that makes it easier for me to emote in my music. Um, yeah, so I want to be clear, what I'm saying is not either you have it or you don't. I was an okay pianist. Maybe a little better than average for my age because because I was extremely imprecise and I played wrong notes all the time, but I played with heart. And so a lot of my um, a lot of my uh, judge comments on like festivals and things would be like, "You're a sloppy player, but you're so musical. We're gonna give you credit for that." Um, uh, and then I started singing in college, and I didn't sing growing up. My my mom is it? What is it? Is it a is it a con contralto when a woman sings tenor? Is it a counter tenor when a when a when a male voice sings a female part and contralto when it's the other way around? I think. Anyway, my mom's that. She sang with the tenors, and my sister is a low alto mezzo, whatever that is. So I just assumed that I couldn't sing because I would try to sing along with them, and I thought I could sing like five notes. Well, it turns out that I'm a, like my vocal register, my natural vocal register, is very high. <laughs> And they're very low. Um, but I found this out when I was in college and I started singing in this beginning group voice class because I, I needed music in my life, didn't have a piano, didn't want my roommates to hate me when I, uh, when I practiced flute. So I started singing having no expectation of anything. And I, I know what that look on a music teacher's face means. I know what it means when a teacher says, I will teach you private lessons at half price. Please let me train your instrument. I'm never going to be a great singer because I didn't start singing until I was 20 and I didn't, you know, commit to it and go all in. And those are two things you have to do. Like, um, if you're going to be a professional classical singer and I have a classical style voice, it is best if you start early and then you have to work really, really hard. And I'm never going to get there because I didn't start early and I never had that level of training. But I have a much better instrument <laughs> naturally than I do with my natural ability to play either flute or piano. And it was this big crisis of identity when I found it out. Because then like later years, I stopped singing for a while and then I started it up again when I started my band. Um, and I went to a voice teacher in, uh, in Austin and I saw the look on her face and I knew what it meant. Um, and, and the things that she said to me, it was very interesting. And she was like, we'll, we'll like, basically we'll get you to do the best version of what you've got. Like use your instrument to the best of it, your ability for its purpose. Um, 
See, Dread Killer, you say that. Um, if you want to compete at a professional level with the arts, it is very hard if you are starting a decade or two after everyone else. Um, it is not perhaps impossible, but they have a head start on you, and that does make a difference. Um, I, and I guess I'm thinking this is the like, there are people who can do things circles around other people when they first start out because they have that natural leg up, but that isn't, that doesn't guarantee. Honestly, Jet Killer, it's not a mindset thing. It's kind of provable. Unless you can find me examples of ballet dancers and like professional opera singers who start in their 30s. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ricano. I sing much better than I should with the amount of training that I have. I'm probably going to do permanent damage to my voice because my technique isn't very good. Um, and, I, and I don't say this to be, to be arrogant. Um, I have a better natural instrument with singing than I do my other, um, my other instruments that I have vastly more training and started much earlier with. I, it's weird because I also know how incredibly flawed I am as a performer, but for whatever reason people like it, so I will keep doing it because I like it. Um, Peter, I have a Wii. And then I have the Bora Wii U. That's what I have. Um, most of the consoles I've had over the years, I might have another one somewhere at my mom's house. Like, I might have a Super Nintendo, but um, I do not have a Switch. I would like to get one at some point, but they are hard to come by and expensive, and I have not been in a position to afford to buy a new console for a while. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, this is a really long tangent. My goodness. You two people are going to be like, what the... What the heck is going on, Lauren? Just like stood in place this whole time. What's happening? Yes, Blink Spot. That's what I'm saying. So people, people improve at like the 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 shape of the line of your improvement is different based on like some degree of natural inclination, and where you start is different based on natural ability. But those things will not do everything. And working hard is a better and more reliable way of getting better at things and being good at things. I really want to play Odyssey if I get a Switch, Dr. McKenna. You can be sure I want to. You can be sure I want to do that because I love Mario 64 and I love Mario Galaxy so much. Um. So yeah, that's that's on that's on my list. I think I might have played some of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Not sure. Is that one of those that's two player? I don't know. But that could be fun. Yeah, because I've thought about maybe playing some Mario Galaxy on stream to show you guys my favorite platformer. <laughs> Thank you, Waterstone. By and large, I have been. I did have to turn. Oh, oh are you talking about? Are you talking about here? Are you talking about Mario Odyssey? Never mind. Sorry, I thought you. Sometimes people will drop by and will comment on the game that I'm playing right now. Um, but sometimes people are just responding to the conversation at hand and we're talking about other games. Okay, maybe I've played a little bit of that blue glass. I don't know. I might give it a try. Celeste, okay, that's what I thought at first while I said. Yeah, I had to use assist mode because I got very frustrated a couple of times in two rooms in this section so far, but it's a very good game and I've been very much enjoying most of it, so yeah. I should shut down. Wow, this is like 40 minutes past my usual shutdown time, but I got I got off on a tear talking about like personal stuff. Things. I talk about this stuff. I talk about things. Thank you all so much for being here. Hold on. We're gonna save. Save and quit. Oh, I should have done that. And then I would have had this calm thing instead of that super intense music going on in the background. A red sail. Thank you for following. Yeah, and thank you everyone for coming on this journey with me. 
<laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that blink spec that I could like I even I turned I mean if you saw like once I got past the thing that frustrated me, I turned it off and did the rest of that room by myself. Thank you, 95 Fathoms. Thank you all. Thank you guys. Thank you. No, this has been a very like deeply personal thing. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all find whatever your golden thread is. I really encourage everybody to know that about themselves. I think that it's beautiful to know that. <laughs> well, thank you, Anta Prefix. There's a lot of talking. <sighs> well, we're going to keep playing this. I see no reason why we won't be streaming next Thursday and the Thursday after that. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Um, yeah. Be good to yourselves. And if you are not yet on our Discord, please join our Discord. And I will see you all, hopefully. Um, Tuesday, we're going to be finishing up Twilight Princess. Should be fun. Um, and I don't know if we're going to do creative sprints tomorrow morning. But yeah, um, should be good. Thank you all so much. Get some rest. And I will see you soon. Bye.